Okay, in this video clip we're going to look at the influence of the nose band on the nasal bone. So the first subject that we have here is the thoroughbred. And if I put my hand in you can actually see how thin the bone is because you can actually see my finger through the actual bone. What happens here is as the nose band restricts on the top of the head, the nose band makes this, this, uh, the bone go thin and change in shape. And we are sort of half and half asking a question, is the thinness of the bone lower down helping to create this bump that is being formed higher up on the horse's face? Our second subject is also a thoroughbred and you can see there is also thinning of the bone over the nasal area and also a raised bump further back. Our third example is that of a hackney. The damage is a little bit more intense on the nose itself, but it's slightly higher up the face than what the others are. But if we look at the bump and the holes that have been made, we can see almost a correlation in the amount of distance away. Whereas if we look at our last subject, we can actually see this is a non-ridden horse and also a thoroughbred. And we can actually see that there is no changes to the bone. And you, if you look carefully, you can actually see when you look through the fontanelle here, you can see that the bone is fairly thick and has not changed in size or shape or um, consistency in any way as a, as a result of a noseband over the face.